Hey everyone, it's Michael here with Home Health Success Academy and 10xpatientreferrals.com and welcome to another one of our marketing video series. And in this video, what we're going to be talking about is why do marketers fail? That's right, why are marketers failing right now in our industry, in the home health, the home care, or even the hospice industry? So if you're an owner and an operator of an agency, you probably hired a marketer before, or you probably not. And if you haven't, the reason why is because you hear all these horror stories of these marketers failing and it's going to cause you lots of money and headaches. But let me share with you guys um, some of the things that they're doing that's causing them to fail so that if you know this, you can actually help the marketers you're hiring know what they need to do so they don't face these type of failures. Number one, they actually fail because they don't prospect correctly. You know, they just start marketing out there. They don't even, you know, put any thought, any time on researching on who they're actually trying to approach, right? So what they're doing is, you know, they wait to the day of and then, or the night before, and then they start researching who they want to be able to visit. And so when you start prospecting, you, it includes so many different things. Number one, before you even prospect your company, prospect who you want to target, you need to be able to first look at your competition and do what they call a competition matrix. The next thing is you need to be able to kind of figure out, you know, who's going to be your, your ideal 100. You know, and before you start hitting those people, you need to look at your avatar. What are you looking for? What's that typical referral source? What's that typical patient that you want to go after? Once you have that, then you can prospect even better. You know, if you want to go after hospitals, if you want to go after nursing homes or assisted living facilities. But then at the very same time as maybe you do a case mix between, you know, a quarter of them is going to be hospitals you're targeting, the other half is physicians, and the other quarter is going to be all nursing homes, okay? But prospecting um, and looking for the right targets is one of the biggest reasons why they fail. They just wait till the last minute to start marketing. At the very same time as when they are prospecting out there, I really understand that they should be doing this, that they should be reporting to the owners, they should be reporting to the administrators, or if they have a marketing manager, they need to report to them what they're going to be doing in a, in a daily basis, in a weekly basis, in a monthly basis. Uh, and the reason why they need to actually make sure they report to the owners is because they need to be accountable to what they're doing. And the owners and the operators, the administrators need to make sure they monitor them and that they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. The next thing is they're not really good at qualifying. Right. Part of qualification is the step before they actually do the presentation. You know, when they actually go in to a facility, you know, and they they are given the opportunity to present. Most marketers will go straight to the presentation without qualifying, meaning that you need to be able to find out and ask the right questions, asking the questions on what makes them choose to work with agencies. You know, what's the reason why they're having problems with the current agencies that they have right now? What's going to make them move to work forward into another work, another agency? So that's the part of the qualification. Even ask, you know, so qualification is literally all the questions. You know, we always say about the 80 20 rule where, you know, you should talk less and you should actually listen more, right? And so asking the right questions allows you to be able to hear their, you know, them talking for them to share information with you guys. Now, before we can even start qualifying and walking into facilities, you know, one thing that marketers fail on that they have real problems with is they don't believe in cold calls. And cold calls, is something that every marketer should be trained in. We actually have a full cold call training program that has over two hours of training at our 10xpatientreferrals.com website because it's important for people to learn how to cold call, how to be able to get past the gatekeeper, how to be able to set up that appointment. Because if, you're, if your marketers are only walking into these facilities cold without even trying to get an introduction or a meeting, you know, an appointment, then there's a higher chance that they're going to fail, right? The more appointments you can set through a cold call, the better it is for you. Because what we've seen is there's a 70% chance of getting in a facility to close on you and for them to actually start working with you, a 70% 70, 70 chance if you're able to set up an appointment before you walk in compared to you just walking in cold. So you have to be able to make sure that your marketers are great at doing cold calls, cold call follow-ups, cold call, you know, introductions. Now, once you get into the presentation, a lot of marketers then just start spitting out, you know, the presentation. The typical presentation is they just talk about your features, the services you offer, and, and then asking for a referral. And the biggest mistakes when it comes to um, your presentation is the part that the marketer does not even, you know, custom their presentation towards the wants and the needs of that referral source. And that's honestly why the qualification phase is very much an important step before you actually start the presentation. You must present what they're actually looking for. 
truth is, they've already worked with another home health agencies, another home care company. So they kind of typically already know what type of services that you offer. The thing is, if you're able to find out what certain problems that are not being solved that you can solve, then guess what? That's where it's going to become successful for you. So we actually share with you guys every single step in our blueprint at our, you know, our 10x uh, online marketing bootcamp or even in our live marketing bootcamp events. So that's a great thing you need to understand is presentation is key to a lot of different things when it comes to marketing. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, presentation is least important to the follow-ups because you rarely going to get a referral that comes in the very first time you actually meet a, mar meet a referral source. It's, it doesn't happen always. Is it going to happen sometimes? Of course, but not always. Most follow-ups, most, you know, business kind of transactions that occur happens after the follow-up. Sometimes it takes about five visits, six visits, seven visits. Per study, between seven to 10 touches is what it takes in order for you able to get a business from somebody. And this is all in sales in general. So what you need to be able to do is to be able to have a great follow-up system that's in place for your company. Like, what are you guys doing to follow-up? Like, do you guys actually know what you're gonna be sharing with them every time you come back? A lot of marketers fail because all they know is to talk about their services. They don't even know what they need to do when they stop by the second time, the third time. So you as an organization or as a marketer, you must have educational-based marketing materials ready for you to be able to come in. At the very same time as you should have unique ideas that's going to get you in the door. One thing that we're introducing is our, you know, our 365 one-year marketing plan where we literally give you guys 12 videos detailing what you should be doing and what you should be presenting on a monthly basis, right? So it's, you know, each month we're going to have a January all the way to December and it's going to be so much information. So it gives you an idea. Okay. It's January. We know what, what we can do, what are things that we can present just to be able to walk in. We know what to bring in. Having that idea, getting you guys ready is such an important thing for you to be able to for you to be able to have. And that's what we're doing it for you. We just created this whole series just for you guys. And so you should definitely take advantage of that and that's available at our 10 patientreferrals.com website. So you have to understand that presenting follow-ups, closing techniques, um, go making sure you qualify correctly, make sure you're prospecting correctly, those are important steps and you cannot skip any of them at all in order to be able to have a successful you know, setup and marketing. Now also understand this, a lot of marketers fail because they don't like to hear no, they get hurt easily. You know, I'll be honest, when I first started out there, when I first started marketing, whenever, every time I heard somebody, no, I don't wanna work with you, we don't need you, I don't have time to meet you, that really hurt and affected me to move on to the next level. Eventually, you know, I built up confidence enough to say that, you know what, I'm just gonna keep on working. Because if you let the first no affect you, the rest of your day is, gonna, is really just gonna suck. And so what you need to understand is that sometimes you're going to get a lot of no's, but what if in one day you went out there and you got 20 no's, yet on your last marketing event, your last visit, you got a yes. What's that going to, you know, going to do for you? What if, if you go out there five days a week and every single day you visit 25 to 30 people and you get one yes? If you do that for a whole month straight, how many referral sources did you get? That's the thing, guys. It's everything about making sure that you're ready to present your company, but at the same time is to keep on working for it and not, you, not let your emotions build up in the negative sense of things. You must have a positive outlook in everything. And so that's the main goal. Our main goal at 10xpatientreferrals.com and Home Health Success Academy is to actually give you guys the tools, the strategies, all the tips and tricks that you guys can do in order to become a successful marketing you know, service for your home health, your home care, your hospice agency. If you guys have any more questions or concerns, always leave a comment down below. But we always love the fact that you can actually click the like button and at the same time subscribe to our channel. Our goal here is to be able to help you guys out. So once again, home health marketing is easy when you know what you're doing. Hey everyone, we want to be able to invite you to our 10xpatientreferrals.com where we have our online home health marketing academy that's going to be able to help either a home health, home care, or hospice agency increase referrals, increase their senses, and create a profitable company. Now, at this very moment, you're gonna have access to these information through these training, marketing to physicians, how to get to hospitals, how to be able to get into nursing homes, and much, much more at a month-to-month -month basis with no contracts needed. It's just month to month. Now, guess what? We are offering you guys for a limited time 50% off any one of our plans. 
Just choose which one is going to be able to work better for you. So just stop by the 10xpatientreferrals.com at any given moment. So these are the plans that are available, whether it's the gold, the silver, or the platinum plan. Most people go for the gold plan, but it's up to you what's going to work for you. We definitely want to be able to have you in, come in and work with us. So here's two choices. Go to 10xpatientreferrals.com or click the link down below. Take advantage of this right now at this very moment and sign up with us.